Love it or hate it, it appears to be another irreversible step along mankind's journey toward God only knows what. When we come back, two of the mega stars of voicemail. Information you Good desire. Evening. This is the customer originated trace feature. A five dollar charge will be added to your telephone. That is a familiar voice. I mean, you've heard that voice before, right? Actually, that voice is heard every day, several times a day, by millions of Americans. I'm Pat Fleet. I'm the voice you most often hear when you make a long distance telephone call. AT&T. AT&T. Thank you for using AT&T. I also do other intercept messages when you dial a wrong telephone number or um, dial a number that's been disconnected or you need to deposit 25 cents before making your call. That's me. Pat has been the signature voice of AT&T for over five years now. And for the last 13 years of her professional voiceover career, she has been recording at the same studio in Atlanta, Georgia, where you might hear another familiar voice. I'm Jane Barbie, and I talk to about 50 million people every day. Many times I might tell them something like, um, at the tone, the time will be 7.45, temperature 80. Good morning. This is your wake-up call. We do automated hotel wake-up calls. Nobody likes to get those. We all want to stay in our beds and snuggle, but it's a necessary evil. We try to be as gentle with them as we possibly can. It produces, as you might imagine, a certain sort of fame. 7.45. People that know that this is what I do will come up to me and say, say it, say it. <laughs> Let me hear you say it. <laughs> oh, say it, say it, say it, you know. So here you are at a cocktail party and you feel like a perfect idiot. And then when you do, they go, oh my God. <laughs> it really is you. I talk to you all the time. It's logical in an illogical sort of way. Think of them as the two women who personify the depersonalized message. Hi, near 64. 